Hey everyone, Danamai underscore 41 here, and I'm here to speak about GameStop because we closed at $27 today, and I am so excited, and I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control, and I think I like it. Ooh. Anyways, um, GameStop closed at $27 today. Um, someone wants to say hi really quick on the camera. Let me go ahead and show her off. It's Ruby! Ruby says hi. She loves y'all. She loves us. She loves me, hopefully. <laughs> but anyways, the trend line that I drew last week is going strong. So far, so good. And this is on the daily chart. And I cannot complain about it at all because we are following the trend line. And I feel like we're going to continue following the trend line. Ruby, that's not a laser. Oh, Sam is on my lap right now, too. I almost forgot about him. I don't want to wake him up. He looks so calm and sleepy and sweet so i'll leave him there but we are on the track to success so far if we break above this 27 dollars point which we did but i would like to see us continue to excel continue to blow past it get past 28 get past all that as long as we get to 30 dollars before the end of the month that's just me you know there's no reason why there is behind that i just feel like based off of the technical analysis we are going to hit 30 dollars before the end of this month or at the end of this month in my humble opinion i could be totally wrong at the end of the day i'm not a day trader not a swing trader not a whatever minute trader i am an investor i have been buying into the stock for the past three years now and i will continue to do so and i just Love the company's fundamentals, love the board of directors, love that everything from within the company is changing, whether it's uh, cutting down costs or uh, making some adjustments, closing down stores so we could spend less money over the quarterly, over the years. That way we could turn that into more higher profit margins, which will lead to better balance sheets and better balance sheets lead to uh, price action on the stock market. Because when it gets priced in, when we hit on the quarterlies, when we eventually hit the S&P 500 and the big hedgies, the big funds have to buy in on GameStop, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. And we're not going anywhere. We're here. I'm here. That's for damn sure. I am not. Listen, I'm speaking for myself, y'all, and I plan on buying and holding. I don't care if we get to $100. I'm still going to hold because I know this thing got way more freaking oomph to it. And if you don't know what oomph is, then look it up. Uh, Urban Dictionary or something. <laughs> Trendline. Anyways, um, we're doing good so far. Not even worried about the technical analysis. MACD lines crossing over. RSI is still in a solid area where we have, you know, the ability to continue to rise in price action. I'm happy. I bought shares today. Even if we were green, I buy on those days too. Love those days. <laughs> But anywho, Stonko Tracker, let's check out the options data for today. So, of course, we closed at $27 today. For the calls in the money for basically all the calls expiring for this week, which is on the 19th, which is this Friday, we currently have 83,290 calls in the money versus 11,767,000 puts in the money. So we're winning this race so far as far as this whole week goes with the call options. And, you know, anything can happen. We could go down in price section. We could go back to 25 tomorrow. If, if they really wanted to push it down, then yeah, whatever. Bring it down to 25. I will happily buy more shares for a discount. And that is not financial advice. That's just how I play the game. And my favorite game is GameStop, buying the stock and supporting the company, buying from the company. Just earlier today, my uh, coworker was telling me about the new um, NCAA game that came out. I haven't kept up with anything. Work has been absolutely consuming the shit out of my life. But I'm going to have some help this week eventually. So um, maybe I'll be able to make more videos, be more consistent. But he told me. You know, he's getting that new game, and I was like, hey, you buying that at GameStop? He's like, nah, I bought it online already off my phone. It's currently downloaded on my Xbox, and I'm like, come on, dog. But nah, I'll be, I'll be playing around with him. I always talk about GameStop to people, coworkers, friends, everyone. Um, people think I'm crazy. Some people also love it, and I love that shit. Support, support, support. And we're not a dying company, not a dying brick and mortar company at all.
Anyways, individuals like me, like you, not the big money, not the smart money, we own to 18% of the float. Basically, we have 75 million shares locked away in our names and the brokers don't have them. They could try to get them from us if they want, but you know, if they want my shares, my DRS shares, those alone, the small percentage of DRS shares that I have, they're going to have to like bump this price up to 500 before I start letting go of any shares. <laughs> That's just me. But we're at $27.10 in the after hours and couldn't be happier about the price action. I love how healthy it's rising and it's not spiking up like crazy. Although we love to see it, but I just think it's uh, more healthy when it goes up organically, in my opinion. And to end off the video, I saw this article about how basically GameStop hits highest price in a month, What hap what's happening. So, you know, Meme Stock King, GameStop, and that's how they label it, hilarious, hit its highest price over a month Monday, continue its, continuing its latest uptick despite its pumper in chief and top trader Roaring Kitty. That's fucking wild. Pumper in chief. Like, see, they slander this stock crazy. It's the verbiage for me, honestly. Uh, the stock has continued to shoot up as investors continue to show interest in meme stocks. Yeah, whatever, meme stocks. Uh, the video game retailer GameStop first made, nah, uh, where is it at? Ah, ha, ha, there it is. So, uh, GME had largely gone quiet, which that is not true. GME has not been quiet. They have been literally talking shit about GameStop the past years on mainstream media. Made a comeback in May after the trader started, after the trader that started the 2021 buying frenzy, Keith Gill, who goes by Roaring Kitty, um, posted for the first time in three years. So, you know, of course they're just gonna go with the narrative of Roaring Kitty, uh, which is this lovely gentleman right here, smart dude. Um, basically him tweeting caused the price action of GameStop to go up, which I find it hard to believe because retail investors, if I'm not mistaken, they don't move the market. Like me, you, we don't move the market. Anytime we buy shares, we don't move the market because all of our shares are, payment for order flow or just like they're rerouted elsewhere and they have like 35 days to actually you know for them to actually go through so you know our shares whenever we buy them we don't affect the price action it's the big institutions the hedge funds big money they're the ones that move the price action they pretty much control shit and they're losing control over us because you know they thought we would sell they thought they thought, oh yeah, let's let's bring this price down. Look, like we bought all the way up here. They're like, oh, let's bring this price down. Whoa, whoa those punks are gonna sell. Dumb money's gonna sell. They're gonna lose all their money, and we're gonna freaking cash out to the bank. Guess what, buddies? We've been buying all these years, all these damn forsaken years, just for y'all to lose. Just for the big money to lose. Smart money. Well, not so smart today, baby. Woo! Um, yeah, so they're trying to still call us a meme stock, whatever, but it's all good because at the end of the day, um, it's recent climb shows investors still have an appetite for risky assets like meme stocks. And you know, it's crazy. This is a risky asset, hundred percent, but also not really because we have $4 billion in the bank, a CEO that takes a $0 compensation, working his ass off trying to turn around the company, considering the fact that we've been cutting costs, is just chef's kiss. And they wanna paint here, they wanna sit here and paint it like we're a bad company, like a risky asset. Cool, call it what you want, call it what you need. I'ma go buy Mo GME. That's how I'ma end the video. Anyways, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Don't let anything sway you. Don't let anything fool you. This company is one of the best performing companies in the stock market. And that's just my opinion. I'm crazy bullish about the company. I will continue to be bullish about the company. And you know who else is going to be bullish about GameStop? I ain't the only one. It's the one, the only, the OG, Mr. Sam. I woke him out of his sleep just for him, just to do that. He wanted to show himself in the video. So... Anyways, I'm talking too much. I feel like I've talked too much this video at this point. We're at 9 minutes and 44 seconds. Hope y'all have a fantastic night, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.